Hello, whoever is watching this video. My name is Lorene, and today I'm bringing to life my avant garde and never been done before idea to make a video about something personal that others may want to hear about. Like other 45 million Americans, I have herpes. Surprise, motherfucker! I've been living with herpes for about three years now. As much as it will disappoint some of you, living with herpes is not as bad as its reputation wants it to be. Problem is, those who have it never get to hear how others are living with it, and those who don't have it imagine the craziest shit because the only narrative they hear about is one that is rooted in the stigma that is attached to it. So, to kind of lay the foundation, herpes is categorized in two types. HSV1, which usually manifests itself on the mouth, and HSV2, which usually manifests itself on genitals. Why do I say usually? Because people can pass their oral herpes to their partner's genitals, and others can pass their genital herpes to their partner's mouth. Thanks, oral sex. But all that HSV1, HSV2 gobbledygook doesn't really matter because it looks the same, it hurts the same, it's contagious the same. What is not the same is people's perception of it. When you have herpes on your genitals, you're perceived to be dirty. Like, you probably don't take showers or care for your personal hygiene, and you're gross. Or promiscuous. Like, you must have been sleeping around with tons of people, and you're gross. Or irresponsible. Like, you read what you saw because you probably didn't use protection, and you're gross. But somehow, when you have cold sores on your mouth, you're just a bit stressed. So this gap between the social stigma and the medical condition is what's been keeping me up at night. Because it's bullshit, it's hurtful, and it's harmful. Fuck all you hoes. It's bullshit because it's rooted in perceptions rather than medical facts. It's hurtful because it makes us feel like someone we're not. And it's harmful because the least we talk about STIs, the least we can protect ourselves or others from the risk of getting them. By the way, let me caveat that although I will include medical information from reliable sources that I find here and there on the internet, I am not a doctor or an expert in the medical nature of the virus. What I am is a patient and an expert on how to live with it and how not to let it take over the self-perception of the unique and beautiful person you are. Aww. If doctors and sex education put an emphasis on telling you how to maximize the chances of not getting an STI, no one really tells you what the fuck to do in the event that you do catch one. So here on this channel, that's stupid. So here on this channel, I'm going to talk about what it's like to live with herpes, from how to approach conversations about it to how to face stress or other things that might trigger an outbreak or how to manage rejection in case it happens. So if you have herpes, oh, don't do that. So if you have herpes and you're struggling with finding answers to those questions, well, bienvenue, we'll do it together right here. If you don't have herpes, you might have a friend, a relative, or a future lover who will turn to you for your advice or support, and you might wanna learn a few tips before that happens. Lastly, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below or in the holler section of my blog if you want to do so anonymously, and I'll try to make videos that answer some of them. That's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Ciao.